Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say for a brand new day. Well, we are here. It is Friday, and it's the first of the month. Yes, it is. So I'm actually on the train. Uh, we've not pulled off yet. I did uh, video while in the car, but I think I'm going to do something a little differently with that. So I'm not going to use it. Anyhow, I'm here. And I give God the glory. It's Friday, beloved, and we made it. By the grace of God, as my granddaughter says, Mommy, we made it. And so we are here, and I'm in a mask because the sign says TSA requires masks be worn when on this train. So, but there I am. Hey. So, anywho, we are here. I'm in the car by myself. This part of the car. So, anyway, um, don't know what I'm going to say today, but when I opened up my phone and hit camera, across the screen it read, a clean lens makes for a better picture. I oftentimes see that on my phone and it serves as a reminder, girl, you need to, I have a cover on my phone, but you need to be mindful and keep your lens clean, beloved, and it kind of touched me deep what they say in the movie you cut me deep Shrek so a clean lens beloved these are our lenses right and we have got to be able to see and to see clearly we must see with our father's eyes we are so concerned with what's going on with our brother or our sister that we miss what's going on with ourselves it is so easy for me to point the finger at someone else and disregard my own issue. But according to the word of God, I must first deal with the moat in my eye before I go talking about the beam in my brother's eye. Lee, or does it say in about two minutes. the beam in my brother's eye? And the moat in mine or the moat over there and the beam over here. You know what I'm saying? In other words, I'm talking about you because you got a uh, an elephant sitting on your sofa and I got a hippopotamus sitting on mine. Now, elephants and hippopotamuses need to be where? Somewhere out there roaming free. But it's easy for me to talk about yours and not deal with mine. So that clean lens it makes for what? It makes for a better picture. So when we allow God to clean our lens, when we allow ourselves to get into the word of God and to study, to show ourselves approved, a workman needed not be in the to be ashamed, doing what? Rightly dividing. Beloved, we've got to learn to rightly divide. Be it that it's in your word, be it that it's in your trade we must learn how to rightly divide and when we do that we will begin to see that we will point fingers a lot less at someone else and begin to work on our own you know what i'm about to say doors are closing you know what i'm about to say let me get Oh, I can't say let me get out this car and get on that train because I'm already on the train. Well, let me get my legs stretched out and let me get myself ready for the ride from here into downtown L.A. Union Station. At the Union Station, I'm going to get on the red line. Red line, I'm going to go as far as it is I'm going to go. And then I'm going to walk, 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 walk. And when I get inside of that building, I am going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on when? On Monday. From where? From my front seat. This is your girl Sharon. And I'm out, y'all. Do says. Oh, maybe I should pull that down some. And it'll kind of hide that part of my chin. But you properly wear a mask with nose and mouth covered. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.